Hello and welcome to the SysCard video tutorials. My name is Sergey, and in this video we begin a new lesson block about administrators and customers. Let's roll! Today we speak about everything related to the administrators and administrator privileges. There are two main user groups in SysCard. The first is administrators and the second is customers. So, Let's go to the user groups and I will show you. When we create the new user group, there are only two types, customer and administrator. Now let's go to the administrators page. The admin presented here is the chief admin. He or she has all the privileges in the store. Well, I'll be speaking about them a little bit later. First, let's take a closer look at the page. So, here we have columns that can also serve you as sortings, so you can click them and sort the administrators. The next thing is uh, the right search bar. Here you can search for administrators by name, company, email or use advanced search. Next, plus button that add the new administrator, I think that's clear. Later I will create a new one. Ok, and you can also export selected and delete selected, so you just choose the administrator and then export his or hers data and uh, change it accordingly, if you are the chief editor and you have all the privileges. Now let's speak about new administrators and their privileges. Let's add the new administrator. First, we need to enter the email. Okay. Pass for it. Confirm. Status active disabled. Yes. Language English. Here we have uh, the profile information. Of course, the administrators are also can be customers, so they can buy from your store. So you enter here billing address, shipping address. Actually, and billing address is the same. They can be different, and they can be the same. It depends on the user. And uh, you can tax exempt the administrator, like some kind of a privilege. Language English or maybe some other languages if uh, they are presented in the store. Ok, create, notify user. Now uh, the email will be sent to this administrator about his new assignment. Ok, user groups, administrator, marketing. Yeah, he will be a marketeer. API access. Yes, I'll always use it to use the API access. API key. So, API connects your store with some other programs and uh, any other software. Now, let's save the changes. Done. And then now back to. No, no, no. Administrators page. Good. This is the email notification that I spoke about. Simtac new profile notification. Here is the login URL, email and password. After your administrator got this message, he or she can delete that. I recommend you to delete that because it will increase the security of your store. Ok? Done. Now it is the time to speak about privileges. User groups. And here we have administrator, administrator user group and marketing administrator user group. Of course, when we speak about marketeer, he or she doesn't need uh, to have an access to all the features of a store. So we can just go to the privileges tab and uh, choose only some of the privileges here. For example, what can be done? Manage email marketing admin, I think. That's alright. Manage newsletters. View email marketing admin. View comments and reviews. View pages. Catalog. View catalog. Look and feel. Manage design. No, no, no. Change order status. No. View orders. View reports but not manage them. Manage stores, 
view stores, view users, view user groups. What else? View languages. Mm. Manage one, just manage. Done. That's all the privileges the marketer needs. Now let's sign out as the chief administrator and sign in as the marketer. Sign in. Oh, sign out. I'm sorry. Now let's sign in. Okay. Now we can take a look at all the pages, but uh, as you can see, the functionality was um, cut. We can only change a few pages, but we can look at almost all of them. For example, here in Adams, we have only data feeds, administration, we can go only to the storefront or to the stores, profile fields, in design, we can change only templates and uh, take a look here. Of course, your marketer can look through the pages, can look through the products, but he or she cannot save the changes. Save button is not here. Once again, to distribute privileges among administrators, create new administrator user groups. Let me show you once again. User groups, plus button, type administrator, user group, advertising, create, after that edit the user group and choose its privileges. Manage storage, upgrade store, view logs, and you know, catalog, manage promotion system, view banners, manage design, manage themes, manage banners, view stores, view reports, manage reports. That's how you do it. After that, you can add the newly created administrators to this group and after that they can start working with clear set of privileges and responsibilities. All in all, it will help to increase the effectiveness of their work and raise your sales. Distributing the privileges is one of the best ways to make your store popular and profitable. Thanks for watching and see you in the next CSCAD video tutorials.